Hello and welcome back to my channel, Out of the Box. I feel a little rusty today. It's been about four weeks since my last wig review, but I had to break up the monotony of working every single day of the week and finally do something fun for me. So I'm here today and I'm wearing the beautiful Well Played Wig by Raquel Welsh. And this color is 1422SS. I got this wig this morning and I wish I would have took a video of it but I didn't. It kind of slipped my mind. I think because I was kind of in shock by the way that it came. All it was was inside out in the box. There was no netting or tissue paper or any of that stuff that comes when you get a brand new wig. It was just a wig in a box. So I was like, okay, I wonder what's up with this. But as soon as I put it on my head, I was very relieved that I wouldn't have to deal with the headache if I did decide to return it. So luckily, I loved it immediately out of the box. I put it on my head and I thought, yes, I'm keeping this one. It is beautiful. Out of the box, we have a little bit of floppiness. <laughs> but that was very easily taken care of once I, I parted it with my fine tooth comb. And then it just kind of just parted beautifully. Once I parted it, I took a bit, a little bit of my Jean Reno Peace Out Cream and a little tiny bit of water in my hands, just kind of rub my hands together. And once I started doing this, it just, it kind of just took care of itself. And then I took a little bit of my wig spray and sprayed it and it stayed back. And what I always say is, if you're not sure if a wig is for you and you do know that you want to keep it, take it out into the world and wear it and see what you think. I think that's the easiest way to know if you like it or not. So once I did that, I went to the store and I didn't mess with it at all. It didn't flop in my face and I was bending over and picking stuff up and it didn't fall on my face, you know. Sometimes I feel like cousin it. Like sometimes I'll be wearing a wig and I'll be like bending over doing something at the store and all of a sudden I'll stand up and it's just all in my face. So Luckily, Well Played didn't do that to me, so it is very well made, the Well Played, because it stayed back pretty well, and I didn't fuss and must with it like I, I have in the past with other wigs. So let's get down to this cut. This cut is so cool and so modern. It's very edgy, too. It's The razor ends are just unbelievable. So you look very, it's very like kind of a rockerish look to it. So it is very polished with a rocker edge, if that makes any sense at all. So I think you could wear this with a lot of different outfits. You could wear it with a sophisticated outfit or an edgy outfit, or like I was today in a simple t-shirt and sweatpants. And it looked pretty good, you know, it looked pretty put together. I felt good in it. I felt confident in it. I didn't feel like everybody was staring at me. You know, I've had that wig stare before, you know, and some people are kind of polite about it, but I've had, I tell you what, I've been wearing wigs for six years. I've been through it all at this point. I have some stories for you. I should make just a video of the stories that I have of the way some people have acted towards me for wearing a wig. Some of them not so good, but hey, this is your life. This is your journey. It is nobody else's journey. Once you put a wig on and leave the house, that's your business. You don't have to explain yourself to anyone. Just feel confident in what you're wearing. I learned very early on that you don't need to explain yourself or tell people that it's a wig or be nervous or whatever. Just go with it. Who cares? You know, if somebody knows you're wearing a wig, so what? But I tell you what, with this well played, it looks so natural that I think a lot of people wouldn't even know that this was a wig. That's one of the things, if not the best thing I like about well played is the density on this wig. Now we're dealing with uh, six two point ounces in weight, but I don't know where that 6.2 ounces is coming from. For me, I've been wearing this for about six hours and I haven't once felt like I need to get this off my head or geez, it's smothering me or my head can't breathe. I haven't felt like that at all today. So it is very lightweight, low density, 
it is kind of fine in denure. So if you have fine bio hair, then I think you'll really like this one. It's it's very natural looking too, is especially the rooted color that we're dealing with here, this uh, shaded wheat color. When you have a rooted wig, I think that even makes it more natural. And with this modern flat ironed look, it looks like you spent about four hours in the salon this morning getting your hair highlighted and colored and blown out and perfect when I was actually in my pajamas for three or four hours this morning dealing with a crap load of work issues. <laughs> All I did was come in and I put this on my head in about two minutes and I was out the door. So you talk about a time saver with wigs. That is definitely a plus, especially with a wig that looks so natural that you don't have to fuss with and mess with and do all kinds of things with. That's what I'm looking for lately, are wigs that save me time and look and feel natural and wigs that I feel the best in. The days are over where I'm ordering a million different wigs just looking for the one. You'll never find the one wig. You won't. You'll come pretty close. I have a few of my favorites. This is now on the list. And I have a few human hair favorites that I love. I also have an Ellen Villa wig that I love. So once you start wearing wigs for a few years, you'll learn that that's pretty much what, what it boils down to is finding what feels the best on you. So this well-played wig has a very wide mono part. Now, when you get synthetic wig, when you get a synthetic wig, it it kind of has a mind of its own and already knows where it wants to be parted. So you kind of have to go with its natural parting, <laughs> I would say, because it's kind of hard to part a synthetic wig differently than it comes. Um, I noticed that my human hair wigs are a lot easier to change the part on than my synthetics, which this is a synthetic, of course. So you can mess around with it and see where it falls most natural. The most natural part on this one is kind of a left center part, I would say. So I'm just going to go with that and run with it instead of fighting with it and trying to get it to change in any way because I think it looks pretty good the way it is now. So I'm going to show you all sides of this. And just for me doing this a couple times every so often is really training the front back so I don't think we'll have any cousin it problems. <laughs> and during your review, I don't like to mess with the hair too much. I would rather my viewers see how it looks during the whole review without me constantly touching it or messing with it or anything. I just kind of let, like to let it fall natural. I just love Raquel Welsh's lace front wigs. To me, they look so natural. With this, we have a temple to temple lace front. And let me get a little closer so you can see. The highlights are taken all the way to where the lace front starts. So if it bothers you that it's a little light around there, that's an easy fix. I just take a little bit of uh, some fill-in powder and a little brush, <laughs> and a little brush, and I just put a little bit on there. I get up close, and then I just kind of go dot, 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 dot along there, and then all of a sudden, you have a shaded part along the lace front that looks just like the part on your wig. So that's an easy fix if, um, look, I'm messing with it. I said I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> so you have an easy fix if it kind of bothers you if it's kind of light along the lace front. Also, this wig is heat friendly. So if you wanna add some curls or waves to it, you can definitely do that. Just make sure you keep your, your heat settings at about 350 degrees. No higher than that. I usually keep mine about 310 degrees just to be safe. And also note, once you do add a little bit of wave or something to it, it's never going to go back perfectly to this straight poker style. Even if you take a straightener to it, it's just not gonna look the same. 
it's going to be altered just a little bit because it's not human hair. A human hair wig, you can curl, you can straighten, you can do anything you want to it. But with with these synthetics, you got to be a little careful. As far as the measurements of this wig, the front is 9 inches, and then the crown, the sides, the back, and the nape are all 12 inches. So there's not a super amount of layering to this wig, except for that 9 inch front. You can find that 9 inches kind of goes around the entire wig, but everything else is 12 inches long, which I think this is a perfect length because it doesn't swallow you in hair, but it's not so short if you like a longer style. This color is, is beautiful. It is um, RL1422SS Shaded Wheat. I personally would describe it as a dark and medium blonde base. Within that dark and medium blonde base, we have some platinum highlights. And the rooting on this is like a medium brown. And the rooting goes all through the wig. So if we part it over here, you can see that rooting goes all through the wig, which makes it look super natural. So yeah, this color is gorgeous. I'm, I'm not sure if I would consider this a warm color or a cool color. I would probably lean towards warm. Even though the platinum in it is kind of cool, I think when you bring them all together, it's more of a warm color. Since it's been raining all day for like, I don't know, four or five days now, I wasn't able to go outside and capture this in the light, but I did get in my car and take a little video. So right now I'm gonna show you this beautiful color in natural light. Hopefully you can see it as well as you, you would be able to see it if I was standing outside. Just beautiful highlights, uh, lovely blonde color. Thank you so much for watching my review today of the beautiful Well Played Wig by Raquel Welsh. I will see you next time on my channel. I have to get back to work. I don't know what I've been doing all day. I've been having too much fun. So work, work always has to call. Why, why, why? Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Jinx says good evening. And I will see you next time on Out of the Box.